go! What's up sa inyo guys? We're here at San Beda University. First of all, I am Carlos Miguel Aquino and this is Paolo Chenko and this is Don Orientia and this is Nino Obenario and the most handsome of our group is Gia Nura. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the love of Magdalena. Magdalena, anong problema? Bakit di ka makawala sa kadena? Gabi-gabi ko ay nasa selda. Anong nangyari sa'yo? Okay guys, today we're gonna talk about the love of Magdalena Halandoni. Did you know that Magdalena Halandoni was only 5 years old when her first love was sentenced to death by firing squad by Spanish authorities? And that man is our national hero, was Dr. Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal? Yes, Dr. Jose Rizal. Well, Dr. Jose Rizal was an ophthalmologist when in his time of passion. His life has been accentuated by the woman. First one is Leonor Rivera. Do you know her? No. no. Okay. Leonor Rivera was his first love. And the second one, do you know Josephine Bracken? No. Josephine Bracken is a German woman who he met at the Philippines. And did you know that Osei san? No, where? When he visited Japan, he met Osei san that symbolizes the Sakura. Of the blossom. Dr. Jose Rizal is a gentle, perhaps romantic, that Magdalena her is the incredible future of Francisca Gonzaga and Gregorio Halandoni. Okay, it's your turn. Oh. Nino. Um, hello, guys. Um, did you know that when Magdalena Halandoni first wrote his, her first novel? She was only 16 years old. Um, her first novel was called The Thorns of the Flower. Um, and by that time, um, male dominated the writing of literature. So her mother prohibited her from producing literature. So what she, do, what she did is that she write by the night and hid her writings in her closet. And did you know that Magdalena got married in only 18 years old? So young. Yes. yes. True indeed. Um, her mother let her marry a man who she did not truly really want. And she only agreed to it for one condition. And that condition is the man needs to write a novel about Magdalena. Certain Miggy. You know guys, when Magdalena at age of two, her father died and her and her brother was only three months old and her mother was only 20, 23 years old. After her father, father's death, Magdalena Magdalena's make a one story with the influence of her mother. And when she at in 10, she wrote her first corridor and when she at in 13, he did to wrote a four corridors and her piece is Sabinte Tula editorial in Ilo Ilo City. Did you know guys that mag for me, Magdalena is very good influence in us because at her age, at, a, at her age of 13, he did to wrote a four corridors in any whole life. In my, in my whole life, I did not experience to wrote a some story 
So she she so she very inspired me. Okay, next, Gian. Did you know, guys, that Magdalena in her room he can view the quarters of the Spanish priest, ruling the Archdiocese of Haro, and because she is so religious, that she ornamented her inherited house with wood statues that personally carved by herself, right? It, now, in present Iloilo, the sophisticated, the, 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 what do you mean? The sophisticated world of Magdalena is already gone because the government, because of the lack of funds of the government, that's why they cannot preserve it. And did you know that the Halandoni house is styled, uh, styled after the European architecture? Do you know the European architecture? No. no. I don't know that too. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> <laughs> and was among the man and did you know that that it was among the mansions that decorated the bell tower and the cathedral of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. And there you can see the Nuestra Señora de la Candelaria. Oh interesting. Huh? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Okay, done. So done. Okay, done. When she was 75, Magdalena wrote about that motif of loses and finds in Juanita Cruz. Her most mature novel, according to scholar Lucilla Cosillo. She wrote about Juanita who was binokot of her family, a treasure kept by her father for the highest bidder who of, offers the greatest wealth and power. But she for but she fell in love with the poor choir master Elias. This heritage she disguised herself as Celia de Assis and went to Manila and found a suffocate family and become her, her rest of her foster parents. Juanita was reunited with Elias in the end, in the end only to discover that he was involved in the revolutionary movement against Spain and he was killed in the victorious battle. On the 17th anniversary of her first love death, Magdalena wrote about on a dying love, whether filial, agape, or eros, it was a passion towards a country finding golden meanings out of these centuries of peace. So hi guys, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something and always remember that love is always unconditional. Thank yes. you guys! Thank you guys.